and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and today we'll be looking at Forescan and the navigation buttons, how to use the program. Without further ado, let's kick the tyres and light the fires and let's get Forescan started. Okay, first thing it does, I've got mine set up on automatic connection, I'll discuss that later on. So it recognises the vehicle because it's already been in, in this uh, computer before, so we press yes. What it does now, checks all the uh, connection of the Ford VCM tool, which is what I'm using, make sure it's the right adapter. Connection is established, reads the vehicle details, reads all the modules that it can read, and reports any fault codes that are in them. On this particular vehicle, there's no fault codes. There's nothing on this screen that tells you that the scan is complete, other than the fact you don't see any, any more action. So go into the top of the page, We've got the log button, which is highlighted, showing the screen we've got here. The log button itself, if you were to save it at the bottom here, this little save icon, all it does, it creates a, a WordPad document of this particular screen and saves it to your documents folder on your computer. Can't personally see the point in that myself, other than you've got some proof that it's been on, on the Forescan itself. Next button is configuration. So if we click on there, it tells us the interface that we're using, uh, the vehicle, the engine type, capacity, year, um, and the chassis number. All the control modules it's talked to with the part numbers, which is what Ford classes the engineering codes. Some of them even show you the latest versions that are available. And strategy is the software versions, the hardware type, and the mileage in kilometers that is saved in that particular control module. And this is for every control module that it has talked to. Incidentally, as with IDS, if it doesn't communicate with a module, you'll tend to find that it doesn't actually notify you it's not communicated. It's just something you have to notice yourself. Next button is modules. This shows you every module that is on the high speed can and every module that's on the end, uh, medium speed can. I've seen some videos that sh uh, say this is HS Brain and MS Brain. Well, if they don't know what CAN is and what different speeds they are, but that's just my opinion. Next button is Profiles, and this is the saved profile of any vehicle that's been saved on this particular computer. As you can see, there's only two vehicles that have been used on this computer. This doesn't really get used that much. So we go back to the log file at the top left again there. We're back on the home page. Next button down on the left hand side is DTCs. I do have a video all about the DTCs, how to read and clear them. I'll put the link in the top left, sorry, top right and in the bottom in the description. Next button down is your read PID data, your live data. Again, I do have another video, so description in the top right and in the description below. Below that, the next icon is vehicle tests. What we've got is the key on engine off demand self test of the powertrain control module, OBD uh, read the monitor status, and also the um, mode six of the OBD, and the rest of the control modules, they're on demand self tests as well. For instance, if I went into IPC, which is the instrument panel, if I press the on demand self test, what it would do, it would start doing a needle sweep, it would put all the lights on, um, all the LCD would go through its testing procedure, all the bells, whistles and gongs would all operate as well. So it's a good test for testing that a module works. Uh, if you go into the PCM, I'm led to believe that it'll operate the fan, you'll hear EGR valves click and um, sensors click and actuators click, but I'm not going to go into that. Next button down on the left hand side is your service functions, the spanner icon. If we click on there, what we've got, modules all down the left hand side and the name of the function next to it. So in PCM, let's say we've just fitted a set of injectors to it, we would click on there. We would go down into the left hand bottom here to run the procedure. Little warning comes up telling us that we have to do this procedure if a new injector has been fitted. The injector's got a correction factor that's 20 digits long. Um, <clears throat> and just some basically uh, some procedures make sure obviously the vehicle's not moving press ok 
there we've got the injection correction factor values for each of the four injectors a little map telling us here that injector one is on the flywheel end of the vehicle the gearbox end and number four is at the crank pulley end this is because it's a french engine and the french like to be awkward but that's a different story so what you would do you would change your values in here save all data to the ecu it would then take you through some procedures ask you are you sure ask you are you sure again then it'll tell you to disc uh, switch the ignition off put it back on it would save the values and make sure everything's okay if you put it in inputted a wrong value it would tell you so we'll go back to service procedures up at the top corner here and again we've got all different procedures for different uh, control modules um, we've got uh, ABS brake service bleeding I'm going to do a video on that on changing the brake fluid and how to bleed it all up properly we've got uh, crash flag reset in the uh, airbag control module and uh, body control module battery monitoring reset quite a useful function there if you're changing batteries so there's plenty to go out there scroll down on the right hand side and every every module is there next button on the left hand side is configuration and programming again i have done a video on changing the configuration to activate auto locking on this particular vehicle link above and below and likewise how to save and back up your module data which is a critical process prior to changing any configuration again video in the top right and below next button is your settings um, what I like to do change everything to metric because I'm a metric person language obviously for myself is English can't speak or read any other language so I keep it at English keep it in debug mode take it out of demo mode and for connection what I do I've got mine set up for a Ford, Ford VCM2 because that's the adapter I use I don't use the ELM327 with the little toggle switches connection type keep it auto and I put a check into this auto connect box so it automatically connects to the vehicle I don't have to go down to the bottom left hand side and manually connect to the vehicle so that's just something I do in the settings tab and the final one here the steering wheel is the about button this is where all the license details are this is where you go to set up the system in the first place again I'm not going to cover this I do have a, a video again top left bottom corner um, basically showing you how to set up Forescan, how to get it in the first place so that's the a little navigation video there showing you what the buttons do on the left hand side I've not seen any videos on YouTube myself with a, a detailed navigation instructions uh, Forescan don't seem to have any instruction manuals out for this for this program so I think it's a fly by the seat of your pants program and learn it as you as you go along so I hope you liked it Give me a like, give me a comment, share the video, give me a subscription. And until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.